Hey, how are your bicycle skills? You know. <laughs> oh, we're down, but he's up. Pressure. We know it when we feel it. Some of us excel under pressure, while some of us just break. Today's battle will add on an extra layer of intensity as our players compete against each other to get to the final boss. The challenge is unlike anything we've seen, and depending on how it goes, we may not do it again. Regardless, it will bring you a thrill, and it's excitement we have not seen on the show before. This is Stump Sean. This is Stump Sean. I'm your host and lore connoisseur, Melanie Johnson. Let's meet our three gallant players. First up, we have Joanna. Hello, Joanna. Hi, how are you doing? Joanna, it says here at one point you were a level 100 undead priest. That's right. Wow, you must have logged a lot of game time. Uh, yeah, I think I have over a year of gameplay. That's impressive. It's a ton. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Next up, we have Jake. Hello, Hello. Jake. Jake, it says here that your main is a level 60 human marksman hunter, yes. and that you are a Muay Thai fighter as well as a pole dancer. Yes. I'm interested to hear more. Um, I was doing Muay Thai for like four years here, and I've had one fight so far, and then I started pole dancing like six months ago. You'd be surprised how similar they are. I, I am surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's clear you have the physical strength. Let's see if you've got the intellectual strength. Yeah. And last but not least, we have Paul. Hello, Paul. Hello. Hello. It says here that your main is a level 60 monk, mm -hmm. and that you're a two time cheerleading champion. Yeah, I was. Uh, I played football in high school and one of my good buddies, his girlfriend bet him to join the team, but they needed two guys. So I was like, I'll, I'll join with you. Your game. Yeah. Well, another opponent with physical strength. Let's see if you've got the brains to go with the brawn. Sean, what do you think of these three formidable opponents? We've got some talent, but while they might be talented in the physical arena, I'm lucky we're in the lore arena today. Ooh, the lore arena indeed. Let's see how you all handle death by trivia. A question will appear on the screen behind me. Every correct answer is worth one point. The first player to buzz in will have the opportunity to answer from four multiple choice answers that will appear on the screen. If the answer is incorrect, then the remaining two players can guess. Now there is only 10 questions this round, so if you think you know the answer, buzz in, okay? Got it. Got it. Let's, Let's get started. Question one. What famous guardian was the last to call Karazhan his home? Paul, your answers to choose from are A, Madeira, B, Antonitis, C, Aegwin, or D, Medivh? D, Medivh. That is correct. Question two, which prophet led the Draenei people? Okay, Jake, your answers to choose from are A, Oros, B, Velen, C, Rakish, or D, Kiljaden? B, Velen. That is correct. Question three, what was the orcish birth name of Thrall? Paul, your answers to choose from are A, Draka, B, Goel, C, Verok, or D, Gorum. B, Goel. That is correct. Question four, which of the following could not be found in a Winter Vale gift? Joanna, your answers to choose from are A, Clockwork Rocketbot, B, Red Rider Air Rifle, C, Wand of Holiday Cheer, or D, Santa Hat? A. That is incorrect. Jake? B, Red Rider Air Rifle. That is incorrect. Paul? Uh, C. That is incorrect. The correct answer is D, Santa hat. What? <laughs> really? Question five. In previous expansions, a purple gem will provide socket bonuses for which two other gem colors? Paul, A, green and blue, B, red and blue, C, yellow and red, or D, green and pink? B, red and blue. That is correct. Question six. Who is the elemental ruler of Deep Home? Joanna, A, Tarath the Steady, B, Therizane the Stone Mother, C, Bowden the Opposing, or D, Felsen the Enduring? B. That is correct. Question seven. Who killed Uther the Lightbringer? Paul, your answers to choose from are A, Arthas Menethil, B, Terranus Menethil, C, Orgrim Doomhammer, or D, Turalyon? A, Arthas Menethil. That is correct. Question eight. Who is the first dragon aspect to lead the blue dragon flight? Jake, <laughs> eager there. Your answers to choose from are A, Malagos, B, Amanthul, C, Marithra, or D, Caligos. A, Malagos. That is correct. Question nine. The Shatari Skyguard faction offers what type of mount? Joanna, A, Nether Gorge Great Worm, B, Magma Shell, C, Nether Ray, or D, Kodo. C. That is correct. And question 10. Which is not a guild perk? Joanna, your answers to choose from are A, Mount Up, B, Guild Mail, C, Auction House Discount, or D, Hasty Hearth? A. That is incorrect. Jake? C, Auction House Discount. That is correct. Let's tally the scores. 
Joanna, you received two points. Jake, you received three points. And Paul, you received four points. Joanna, unfortunately, you are eliminated from today's competition. But thank you so much for playing. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Anything you'd like to say to Sean before you leave? Well, if I can't beat him, maybe you can. I'll do my dead level best. Good luck. With two fabulous players left, we refresh the scoreboard back to zero. Let's watch as WOW's production director, Patrick Dawson, delivers the rules for round two. Hi, I'm Patrick Dawson, production director for World of Warcraft. Today's game is Sequence the Expansion Pack. The contestants will have to order the expansions from oldest to newest, but there's a twist. You have to do it while riding a tricycle, and you can only <laughs> do it one at a time. Whoever does this quickly and most accurately will go ahead and move on to the final round. Good luck. Hey, how are your bicycle skills? You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get set up for round two. All right, it looks like our players are ready to go. Looking good, guys. Now, just a refresher, you will bike down to the expansion pack pieces over here, select one at a time, bike back to the board, and place them in the correct order. Whoever gets all five in the correct order first, or who gets the most in two minutes, moves on to the final round. Sound good? Yes. All right, let's get two minutes on the clock, please. And ready? Get set, and go! There we are, and they're off! Oh, wow, moving quickly, okay, okay, selecting their first piece, wow, oh, I Ooh. love the backwards technique, Jake. Nicely done, and Paul's coming in hot as well. It's neck to neck, okay, okay, we've got our first pieces on the board. They're coming back, they're going back to that fishbowl. Man, seriously, speedy, guys. Oh, I love the backwards technique, and he's okay, I pay Paul, that's a good technique too. He's got his foot on the back, second expansion pack pieces, it's neck to neck again. You guys look very comfortable on these bikes. Let's ring that bell for good measure, okay, fellas? Yeah, we love the sound of that bell. All right, Paul's heading back. <laughs> okay, oh, we're shuffling around. Okay, we're adjusting as we go. I love it. Okay, so is Paul and the players are heading back. Oh, we're down, but he's up. He's up, he's back in the game. Okay, Jake's coming back with his fourth piece. It's very close, guys. It's, oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, let's see. The players are back. Final piece. It's the final piece. And they're heading back to that board. And done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, team. Oh, let's crap. see how we scored. All right, Paul, you got to the board just a split second before Jake. But yeah. unfortunately, it looks like you mixed up Miss of Pandaria and Cataclysm. Yeah. And Jake, it looks like you got all five in a row. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. And wonderful technique on those tricycles, guys. <laughs> Very impressive. Sean, anything you'd like to say to Paul before he leaves? Oh, Paul, it was an awesome chance to meet you, and thank you for being here. It takes a lot of courage to do this, and you nailed it. Loktar Ogar. Loktar Ogar, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. And Jake, that means you are advancing to the final round. I'm ready. He's ready. Let's get set up for the final round. Our Stump Sean final round is a quick fire battle. I'll read a question, and the first player who buzzes will guess an answer. If it's incorrect, the other player may guess. Now we only have 90 seconds to go through as many questions as possible. If our player Jake outscores Loremaster Sean, he will take home the coveted Stump Sean trophy and have eternal bragging rights that he bested Blizzard's historian supervisor. Jake, how do you feel? I'm ready, I'm feeling pumped. He's feeling pumped. Sean, how do you feel? Feeling like I'm about to be bodied, but I'm in this fight. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, 90 seconds on the clock, please. Time starts now. How many achievements can you complete in Black Rock Depths? Sean. Three. That is correct. The Earth Fury is a raid tier set for which class? Sean. Shaman. That is correct. Hogger, Lord Overheat, and Randolph Malak can be found in which dungeon? Jake. Stormwind Stockades. That is correct. What is the name of the massive mausoleum located in Terracar Forest that was once a Draenor holy site? Sean. Akundun. That is correct. Shogal is the final boss of which Warlords of Draenor raid when set to mythic difficulty? Sean. Uh, High Maul. That is correct. Adal is a member of a race of sentient energy beings known by what name? Jake. Naru. That is correct. The Hosen can be found on which continent of Azeroth? Sean. Pandaria. That is correct. Warmaster Blackhorn of the Twilight's Hammer is a member of which Azerothian race? Sean. Thorin. That is correct. Armor of the Red Crane is a raid tier set for which class? Jake. Monk. That is correct. Loken is the final boss of which Northrin dungeon? Jake. Winter Spring. That is incorrect. Sean. Halls of Lightning. That is correct. Dagrin Thurison was the emperor of which clan of dwarves? Sean. Dark Iron. That is correct. Bloodfeather, Windfury, and Witchwing are all types of which monster race? Jake. Harpy. That is correct. 
Who was the first satyr to be created on Azeroth? Sean. It's obvious. That is correct. Which undead Nerubian was known as the traitor king amongst his former subjects? Jake. Anubarak. That is correct. What is the forsaken racial ability that allows them to feed off dead bodies to regain their health? Jake. Will of the Forsaken. That is incorrect. Cannibalize. That is correct. And we're out of time. Dang. Yes! <laughs> we got it! Yes. Dang. Dude, dude, give it yes. here, man. The scores have been tallied. Jake, you received five points, and Sean, you received 10 points. Jake, unfortunately, you did not manage to stump Sean today, but a great effort, the best so far. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel good. I, I, I really thought I had you, but you're fast. Fast. I know, I thought you had him too. I was really hoping. Yeah. Sean, how do you feel? Fast is an understatement. You are a fierce competitor, <laughs> oh, and we are so you. lucky to have you, sir. Thank Thanks. you for coming. That wraps up another exhilarating episode of Stump Sean. Tune in next time to see if anyone can dethrone the lore master. For the Horde. For Azeroth. For Azeroth. Mostly the Horde. <laughs> Yeah. If you don't like him, we can. Cool. All right. Thank man. you. Thank you, sir. It's good to meet you. It's good to meet you. Thank you for coming. And oh, this thank is you, hard, man. Fun. Like, you, you put yourself out there, and you should oh, be yeah. super proud. Thank you. Have you jumped into Dragonflight, World of Warcraft's latest expansion? If not, what are you doing?